And look at those folks braving the rain out there. We've had some very spring-like weather here across Colorado today. Heavy snow up in the higher elevations and rain down here across the Front Range. And this will eventually change over to frozen precipitation once this temperature gets cold enough. It's 39 degrees now. We got all the way up to 61 degrees for our afternoon high today. So it was very, feeling very spring-like out. Now it's going to feel a little more like winter. The rain will be changing to snow as we go through the overnight hours. And it looks like it will be snowy off and on tomorrow. Much warmer air. Is headed our way for the weekend, though, and the beginning of next week. So it looks like most of the intense energy with this storm system, the heaviest rainfall, is headed up into Wyoming, where we have blizzard warnings in effect around Casper, even down a little farther south towards Cheyenne. It looks like significant amounts of snowfall will be coming down up in this area. But here for the Front Range, light to moderate snowfall, and that's mostly because we started a lot of this storm system with rain. So it's coming down in the form. Of rainfall here along the I-25 corridor, snow right up into the higher elevations. We also had reports earlier of I-70 being closed right around Vail Pass, thanks to all of the spin outs and crashes that have been happening there in the last few hours. At this point, we've just seen a few waves of rain pushing on through, and then right up into the hills, we have snowfall that's still coming down. And once this temperature gets down to below freezing, we will have our own snowfall here in the Denver area overnight and tomorrow. So you may have a tricky commute early on tomorrow morning. Now, uh, into you our area now, it's pretty quiet, but you see right up into the hills, we have a rain snow line as that moisture pushes our direction. Across the eastern plains, also some heavier showers out toward Ray and up north toward Cheyenne as well. And the snow letting up just a little bit here in the mountains, but we'll have more of that ahead. Winter weather advisory here for most of our mountain towns. Winter storm warning out toward Douglas Pass, where they had about 14 inches of snow. And we're expecting about 6 to 12 into the next 24 hours, but here along the front range as you see about one to three inches here around Denver toward Colorado Springs and about four or five inches farther north. That's why all that heavy snow is headed up into Wyoming as these systems roll on through. Lows for tonight will be in the 20s and 30s here for the eastern plains. We'll also have 30s down into southeastern Colorado and teens and 20s for the mountains. More 50s and 60s here for you in the southeast. We'll have 40s in Denver and those snow showers showing on up. Now, the little change in the forecast here is showing up on Thursday. So we'll be in the 40s here the next couple of days. It'll be very windy as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. And the same on Thursday. As we go into Thursday afternoon, though, we'll start with cloudy skies. Then we'll have chances for snow between noon and about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. One to two inches is possible with this quick moving system going through on Thursday. So then we clear it out. Finally, on Friday, 49 degrees for our high. And look at this gorgeous weekend. Those 60s will be back and we'll even be into the upper 60s, low 70s going into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So our bright spot being Tuesday with a high of 72 degrees, which is a far cry from what we're seeing for tomorrow with a high of 41 and snowfall. So we get it all here in Colorado on the uh -huh. seven-day forecast. That is for sure. True. Yeah, a nice mm -hmm. mixed bag there. Yeah.